Cole over here with Race Day Quads, and today we're going to talk about capacitors. We're going to cover what they are, why you should use them, what kind you should use, and how to install them. First off, what is a capacitor? Basically, it's just an electrical component that stores electricity in an electrical field in units called farads, which was named in honor of Michael Faraday. They come in many shapes and sizes and are used in many devices such as power supplies, radios, and computer memory. Why use a capacitor? Well, these little guys will suck up voltage spikes from active braking from your ESCs, and that will prevent damage to your other electrical components in your system. They reduce electrical noise, resulting in a cleaner video. They will also prevent desync issues. And in many cases, can actually be more effective at cleaning your video than a power filter can be. If you are going to be running capacitors on your build, you need to ensure that they are a low ESR capacitor, which these Panasonics happen to be. And basically ESR stands for Equivalent Series Resistance, and it's kind of a complicated thing, but it basically means they are an ideal capacitor. The best part about capacitors is that they are really cheap insurance. This big 1000 microfarad capacitor is $1.49. And this 330 microfarad capacitor is just 99 cents. For installation of capacitors on your build, you're going to notice that one lead will be longer than the other, and this indicates that this is the positive lead and the shorter one will be the negative. And a lot of times on, on these uh, capacitors, it is marked negative on the short side. And when you install them, one of the easiest ways is to directly solder to your ESC here. And you're going to want to make sure you go positive to positive, negative to negative, or else these will not work and you just simply will solder it on and to make sure this doesn't go anywhere you can just put electrical tape around it or zip tight whatever you like to do and this is a very effective way and four caps actually do work better than one individual one but if your build doesn't allow for that you can get one large capacitor just like this one and again short negative long is positive and you can wire them right into here and just secure it down to the back of your frame and if you don't have room for it here and you don't have room on your arms or you don't want to wire, solder them to your ESCs you can take these caps and you can solder them to your distribution board or your FC whatever it may be and just connect them right here and they can be out of the way just like that if you have a 4-in-1 ESC, you're pretty much stuck to one option, and that is just to get one big capacitor and solder it to the lead power leads coming in from your LiPo, just like this. This large one measures about 26 millimeters in length. Diameter is just under 13 millimeters. And for weight, this 1,000 microfarad capacitor weighs just under 5 grams. And these little guys here, that are 330 microfarad, weigh in just a little over one gram. And size-wise, we're looking at just under 12 millimeters in length and about 8 millimeters in diameter. These low ESR capacitors are made by Panasonic and they are on the smaller side for how many microfarads you get for each one. And there will be a link down below if you're interested in purchasing them for your quad. I'm Corey with Race Day Quads and thank you for watching.